A popular pastime during the pandemic is taking a picture of yourself and uploading it to an app for some silly fun as your image is used to dance, for example. The apps come with warnings, but there are some dangers. Here to talk about the fine print is Alexandra Franco, a visiting assistant professor at IIT Chicago Kent. She specializes in tech lawsuits. Thanks so much for being here. Yes, thank you so much for having me. So, what can you tell us about states that are moving forward with biometric privacy acts? Me. So uh, there are three states at the moment with biometric information laws in, in their books. Uh, Washington State and Texas, but Illinois has the most comprehensive one uh, of all of them. And it provides that before businesses collect your biometric information, so a scan of your face, or iris or even your fingerprints, they, uh, the business needs to have your permission and they need to have certain special settings to protect that data. Explain exactly how this works and about the dangers that are involved with using some of these apps. So for example, let's say that you download an app like TikTok um, that is uh, meant to be for entertainment and it scans your face uh, to use some filters and, and you think it's amusing, you think it's for entertainment purposes only. But what the app is doing is collecting your biometric information from your face. Your facial geometry is as unique as your fingerprint uh, and as unique as, uh, as an identifier as a social security number would be. The difference here is that where if you have your social security number compromised and stolen, that can be replaced, but uh, your facial geometry is unique to you and that is irreplaceable. So it is stolen. If it is stolen and compromised, that it becomes a problem, especially now when uh, serious businesses uh, and entities such as the government and serious businesses that do banking are using biometric information more and more to identify their customers. Well, what do parents need to know when children are downloading these apps? especially important for parents to know for their children is because children don't really know any better. They see an app uh, such as TikTok or the more traditional apps such as Facebook, uh, um, anything that's been done by Google, and then they see that they have uh, this particular thing that looks like a game and it's entertaining to superimpose their face upon you know, a, a masterpiece that's well known or like TikTok to have some filter that looks funny. And then the child doesn't know any better. And once that information has been compromised, uh, then the child is not even at a legal age to know what they're doing. And they already have their biometric data out there uh, that somebody could use uh, whatever and uh, use it and misuse it as they wish. And so parents need to be aware of, of apps that uh, collect facial data. Uh, they could collect pictures of the, the children's face and irises and retina scans especially because uh, while that ad may seem innocent, it might not really be so. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for your time. Well, thank you so very much for having me today. I appreciate it. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.